Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Norse Dwarf playthrough here in Total War, Warhammer 3 and Mortal Empires, where things are going well. Um, Boris has betrayed us annoyingly, but we're still doing fine. He's still providing a nice buffer for us. The Skull Road is doing well. I'm kind of trying to build it up a bit, get my defences going, because obviously it's still fairly vulnerable. Um, and we are on our way next turn so yes I, i'm sorry cromson's army you're gonna get stripped out and replaced with better things um and to do that i'm not gonna spend anything for a turn actually <coughs> sorry about that ah something's got in my throat um obviously we were talking about possibly pushing against um uh, the Grand Orthodoxy, but not necessarily rushing there. We're building up Skullson there. Oh, I meant to name a character. Andrew has put a name in the comments, which I meant to do. Sorry, Andrew, I will try and remember. Honest. <laughs> we'll see how it goes here. But yeah. Um... Aye. Let's hear what you have to say. Hmm. Nope. I have no desire for extra wars. Hmm. Mystery meat. Yum. Right. I want to do some comparisons because ward bearers. So they're not that much better, actually. Better leadership. I'm sure I remember them being much better than that. 10% physical resistance. Uh, charge reflection, expert charge defense. These guys have ogre charge. Which, to be fair, your dwarves, you shouldn't really be ogre charging. You shouldn't really be charging. I'm sure I remember these guys being much better than this. They've got a bit more armor, a bit more leadership. But they're also starting at a higher level. Hmm. Oh, ugly three thingers. Now, these guys are chong. Their defense is nowhere near it, but they do magical attacks. They've got a thrown weapon and things, so a mixture of the two is ideal. And I can get some of these guys now. So basically, I am i can't afford to have a third army, but what I can do is rip this army apart. So I'm, I'm sorry, guys. You are getting kicked. <clears throat> Get the three fingers in. <clears throat> so a nice mixed line, a solid front line. Ogre three fingers is he's a hero unit basically, but he's got a load of runes, which makes him quite cool. Uh, and you can see he's a fairly solid. No, I don't think I'm going to get ogre three fingers in. I'm just going to get an extra unit of ward bearers in to make up my front line, which gives me a very solid front line. The physical resistance from these guys is the lovely thing. An 85% spell, spell resistance, whereas let's compare it to these guys. Uh, 45, 10, so yeah. Um, we don't have encourage, but to be fair, our leadership is high enough for all of my units. That's not a huge problem. Oh, did I want to get a rune draken in? Hmm. My boss man is on a rune dragon, so I don't necessarily need it. I should probably get some path girders in, but I can't get them yet. Um, 
is what I find interesting is you get husk girls from multiple things. There are the troll seekers, which are a slightly weird version of them. And path girders. Their range. I'm never a huge fan because their range is a bit meh. Actually, their missile strength is also a bit meh. Hmm. Let's save up for a turn to be able to build that. You guys are still going to keep holding that. Okay. And my income is through for roof. While Cromson can't do anything for a bit, he is going to be... Ex Once that army is made, guys, it is going to be exceptional. Welcome, men of the Empire. Um... to such a solid front line. I've got two options there. I can either use the leaf, the, um, the Huskals on the sides, flanks to, as flankers, or I can do a, do a... Depends who I'm fighting, basically, but I can also have them on the front line, because they're not bad. They are a little glass cannony, but... I want the public order bonus. Um... Hmm. Oh yeah, we do have all of these. <clears throat> makes things more expensive, but lower makes them recruit faster, which is quite good. Uh, I don't think I need any of them yet. At the moment. Uh, Bust for Slayers. Uh, Buster some low level units. I mean, obviously, that's where we want to get. There and there. Um. The axe thirsts for war. Time for a reckoning. For the wisdom. We need to hold the... there. We need to wait a couple more My turns before we can actually do much. War. Oh, yes. And buffs my garrison as well, increases the local recruitment capacity, extra fanes, reduces corruption. It's not an income building, but it is a so solid, solid building nonetheless. To war. <clears throat> I don't want to move that plague anywhere else, but yeah. So... I'm probably... I don't know exactly where I'm going to push next, basically, but... Part of me just wants to wipe out the Grand Orthodoxy in short order to take that territory, because it's fairly solid territory for me. Um, but effectively, my plan is to march two armies through Norska, wiping out Norska as we go, pushing through it, kicking it, you know, just, just slowly burning through Norska, and we will probably build a third solid army at home to defend as we're doing this, because Norska's, it's not a quick march through Norska. Reddit. Two more turns until the new army is done. I, I kind of don't feel I need him in this army, but... Increased mobility is always useful. Let us begin. A runesmith may be more useful in the army, but... Let <clears throat> us begin! Let's get here leveled up so I can get extra defenses in. Probably gonna have to pull Skullson back soon, but again, we've kind of got plague in Ravensvake, so I don't want to push too far forward there. I think I'm probably gonna use Cromson to deal with Azazel, and then we'll work out what we're doing with the Grand Orthodoxy, because they're not allied with me, and they're not particularly reliable as a faction, let's be honest. 
and their leaders a little cuckoo. I shouldn't be saying that while I'm playing as his faction, but... Oh, uh, and we probably want to march down and kick Festus's ass as well. Though, the Empire do seem to have him relatively contained at the moment. What? For the wisdom of Valea. Aye. Aye. Grudges will be set. There we go. Do we get better replenishment here? Not really, but one turn and these guys yes. can move. Hmm. Even more recruitment capacity. No money. There we go. <clears throat> and what can the Dowie do for you on this? Nope. No desire to start fighting the annoying tree as of yet. I think taking Azazel out early is probably my next thing because he is in an annoying position and if I don't take it, there's every chance the Orthodoxy will take it and then I can work out what I'm doing with the Orthodoxy. Erengrad is not so useful, but it's a nice port city. Um, so we're probably going to move Skullson back into his northern position in Krakadom. Maybe even push him forward a bit. And bring the boss guy back. Report, comrade. Yes, they will give me Ostrosk. And some money. Come. Nice. Okay, that's worthwhile. Because that's a nice, solid settlement for us. They've not even repaired it yet. God damn you guys. What? Ooh. Okay, I thought I had made this army full. Apparently I hadn't. I'm so tempted. But actually, they are probably more useful. Summon me if you dare. The forge. Rone of Seeking enables projectiles to home into targets, or Rone of Blasting. You can only have one. Seeking is probably more useful, and we are going to get some artillery. We march. <clears throat> it is time. The throng agrees. My axe thirsts for war. Oh, I'm not going to get some artillery, because apparently I can't recruit artillery. Well, bollocks. Let's just grab two units of long beards. I probably will replace them with ward bearers long run, but for now, I just want to get something out quickly. I don't want to have to wait another two turns. To war. He says, Time for a so tempted. You know what? We're going to wait two turns and we are going to get two. Wait, what? Oh, that was um, three fingers I was looking at when I had all them. I mean, three fingers I am tempted because he does get some cool runes, but... A couple of rune dragon, we'll see how they do. I suspect they won't do well, if I'm brutally honest, but we'll see. Growth <clears throat> as we rebuild these places. Ooh. God damn. Boris. Has Boris actually been pushed back already? Yes, Boris appears to have already been pushed back after breaking his alliance with me. I am going to start building a third Honor army. Your ancestors. Oh. Oh, you want to be friends again now, do you? Do you really? I will accept it. I will build a third army to go and support him because he is a. He provides a solid buffer. Much as I'm annoyed at him, the defense he provides me is 
incredibly useful. So we are going to get a third army. It's not going to be anything fantastic. But we are going to get a third army. Because if he falls, I've got to go back and defend the Skull Road. In fact, Skullson is going to head that way with his army. Yes. Yeah. It is time. The axe thirsts for war. God damn you, Boris, you idiot. Award Lord. Lagazon. I, I suppose so. There we go. I can't remember the full name, but I know it had Andreas in it. There we go. That'll do to start with. I'm not entirely sure where he's going to be being sent, but we'll see. Next turn, Cromson will be able to start moving. Boris falls utterly. I will be pissed. <clears throat> and he's actually in a place where he might fall. Oh, Kostelton has got a mark of Slanesh on him. You see? You see, I need to deal with him. He's obviously Hail evil. Emperor, I would like more, actually. I will accept your trade, Reichlander. Friend of the soft, bearded Dowie. There's those, those northern Dowie. There's those southern Dowie. They're not like proper Dowie who have to fight and, you know... You have to fight properly. Oh, I see a frog. So Skullson is turning around. I think Andreas is going to be my designed to go north if they survive long enough. Summon me if you dare. I. My axe thirsts for war. I hope. This is going to be an expensive army I'm giving you, Andreas. You can have the free thingers. Mm, I'll leave it there for a moment. I probably want to get a Fane in. Oh, wow. He starts so high level now. I answer to clan and hold strengthen the shield wall. There we go. I... Maybe a proper runesmith for their buffs as well, because they do provide some nice buffs. They can give you extra melee defense and melee uh, and melee attack, which is always solid. Yeah, I think I need to get north quickly. Shit, Zen. It's only a small force, but still, the fact they're managing to get through to my forces is worrying. So, the thing is, do I go straight for the Tower of Kark, which will force us Azor to take somewhere else? Look 
Okay, I will take it. I will take the victory. Ooh. Shit. Uh, I cannot afford that war. Oh, I am sorry. I have just made myself treacherous. Uh, um, I've broken. I've just done what goddamn Boris did. Okay, thrown together defensive force. Check. You guys can start moving this way. You are still building up. Grudges will be settled. As the High King commands, time to slay all breakers. There we go. Moving to ambush starts there. Eighty percent chance, which is good. There we go. I'm actually quite happy. Oh shit. I'll take the auto. Ouch! Oh, he teleported past me. It's fine. We are going to need to go and dig in, however. Oh, Kostoutin, you brave, foolish git. No, the slaves of Tsar are are far too much on my border for me to really be wanting to worry about too much. Perfect. Honor to your ancestors. Yes. So if I take here, I will force uh, Azazel's hand a little bit. To war. Let us begin. Let us settle this. The clan demands. Again, fighting, forcing the fight in the open. Uh, <clears throat> I want to fight some things, but at the same time, it really makes no sense to fight them because I can just walk in now. Whereas if I'd fought it, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Ah, it's the under other side of the channel. Of the mm. <laughs> I can go straight into being able to build some really quite solid buildings here as well. Probably want to get the corruption removal buildings to be fair. And this will force Azazel into taking action. He may just die next turn. Time for a reckoning. Chase that. Yeah, Seachian aura. Time for a reckoning. Okay, we're going to dig in a bit here to replenish, then we're going to start pushing again. God damn it, Boris. I gave you so much, so much, and you fucked it up. So this one and this one are the two main ones I want from here. One rug. You can just auto level up now. My axe thirsts for war. Ooh. 
Okay. Not a chance. If it's going to see, I'm probably going to ignore it. I mean, Kostautin has a mark of Slanesh, which means he has to die. He has been corrupted. I can very much see Kostautin as the sort of person to give up to Slanesh. <laughs> to your ancestors. Yes. I want more manling. I want more gold than that to protect your as I am the shield of your north. To war. What? Quite sure why that went black on my map, but no, I am taking this territory. You will regret this weakness. I will not regret this weakness. I am saving your peoples. Just begin to battle. Nah, I won't get there, but I can definitely afford to drop that army now, which means I can Can't afford to finish you. this one off. What do I want for my last thing? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Hmm. Lord. It doesn't need to be a full stack, to be fair. Rune, Ricky. But I know what I'll do. I will give them uh, another hero. I will give them a... A, I do. a rune smith. I have the oh, there we go. <clears throat> so, Andreas is ready. Oh, damn, why didn't I change your stance? Don't know where they're going to go, but they're really not a threat. So basically, we are guarding oh, no, there for assistance. now. And soon we will start pushing further north again. Uh, to reclaim Boris's lost territory, because he's an idiot. I mean, the question is, do I just keep it myself? It's not the worst territory in the world for me. Not ideal for me either, though. I'd prefer Boris to hold it, to be fair. One rug. By the so yeah, we're going to hold here for a few turns while we replenish. Master of Runecraft. And now, it shall be done casting the runes. You are heading this way. Approved. Excellent. Our palks stand shoulder to shoulder. Oh, okay. I mean, if they take Erengrad, that's not the end of the world, if I'm honest. Yes. Um, it's not the perfect. I would have liked it, but it's not a perfect settlement for me, so. Oh, yeah. Um. And we probably want to actually. Oh, I did get the Sea King. Never mind. We'll see what happens there. If they lose, obviously, I will fall back. Growth, please. And the Ecstatic Legion has been defeated. Nice. So we've got a Northern Legion now. Andreas is going to start pressuring along the uh, into Southern Norska and into Throggy's territory. 
Cromson is going to deal with the northern side of Norska, pushing along there. So between us, we'll clear Norska. And obviously that northern army is probably, once we've dealt with all this, going to start pushing through the Chaos Wastes to the north. Where we will eventually get to Nagarond. Yeah, I hate Nagarond. <coughs> I will accept the migration. It is time. Okay, Erengrad is mine. It's an individual settlement, but it's a solid, solid settlement to take. This one, I don't really care about the buildings in it so much it's going to be very much defensive uh, an eco economic and defensive bastion uh, but that guys is where we're gonna leave it for today so i think we have finally managed to turn the table it's turn 97 so we're also going to be getting an end game crisis soon but yeah we'll see which one we get as always thank you very much for watching guys i do hope you are enjoying this Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this content and pop a comment down below. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons, Monsters Abound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason and Jared Horn. And thank you to everyone for watching. Cheers all.